OnePlus will therefore soon surprise us all. You can choose to forego the Pixel 8 Pro and the Apple iPhone 15 Pro Max in favor of the OnePlus 12 due to its hot characteristics. This concludes the final OnePlus 12 schematics. Instead of a rectangular sensor like the one found on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, our device has four sensors on the back, a main Sony iNX9 series sensor, a super wide sensor, and a circular lens mounted atop a periscope. The final one might be a supporting sensor in the upper left corner, possibly for a flash. With the OnePlus 11, OnePlus adopted a new design language, and it is one of the best designs the company has ever released in its nine-year history. The brand did a terrific job transferring a similar design to the India Focus OnePlus 11R as well. The brand's huge camera island at the rear that seamlessly integrates into the mid-frame is designed to turn heads. Although the Chinese company OnePlus is known for changing the style of its phones on an annual basis, it appears that the OnePlus 12 will have a similar design. The OnePlus 12's first images show a design that is substantially the same as this year, with a similar combination of modules and LED flash. The OnePlus 11's retail price is one of its main selling features. The phone offers a better value than most of its direct competitors at launch, and that's expected to hold true until 2024. The Hasselblad branding is now on the side rather than in the center of both pairs of lenses, which is the only distinction. This smartphone has 24 gigabytes of RAM and a 5,400 mAh battery. The Qualcomm 8 Gen 3 chips it, which will destroy the Tensor G3 and even the A17 Pro chip, is the highlight of the OnePlus 12. So, yeah, on October 24, Qualcomm's Gen 3 is poised to become official. Furthermore, according to the most recent information from ChatStation, the N22 benchmark score for the 8 Gen 3 is over 2 million, which is fantastic. The OnePlus 11 and a 17 Pro or iPhone 15 Pro's Qualcomm 8 Gen 2 scored well. In comparison to the AG Gen 2, that is a 25% increase overall, a 15% increase in CPU, and a 40% increase in GPU. Considering how fantastic this Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is right now, I can only imagine how powerful and energy efficient the 8 Gen 3 will be. So, before making any decisions, wait for this device. The remaining features include a 6.7 inch high resolution display with subtly curved edges, which I really appreciate. The iPhone, Pixel, and Samsung are all switching to flat displays. Therefore, I suppose the OM Plus 12 is for people who enjoy curved edge finishes. Then there is Oxygenos 14 on top, which is now looking all rightish, but not as good as Pixel 8 with Pixel UI and seven years of security updates and feature releases, something that OnePlus simply cannot compete with at this time. Yes, the software is something of a drawback, but hey, look at those stats, the 8 Gen 3 silicon, the 5,400 mAh battery, and the cutting edge cameras. When it comes to a debut, OnePlus will want to compete with the Xiaomi 14 series, so expect a formal unveiling in China sometime in December, followed by a global launch in January. I'll provide more information when I receive it, but given that the OnePlus 11 debuted much sooner than its predecessors, it's probable that the OnePlus 12 may follow a similar launch schedule. We simply cannot dispute that. Okay, gentlemen, I really appreciate your interest. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll meet you guys in the next one. Peace out.